Hello, welcome back. This is the third part of our lecture series on basics network connectivity and communication. If you haven't watched part one and two, please check the link in the description box below. Here we will discuss intermediary devices and media. Let's discuss about them in detail. Intermediary devices are used to connect end devices to the network. In this diagram, laptop 1 is connected to wireless router 1, and this PC is connected to the switch. The laptop and the PC are considered as end devices. Any device that facilitates the communication between laptop and the PC are known as intermediary devices. Example, when you connect to the internet at home or school or any organization, you are connected to an intermediary device, maybe an access point, a switch, or directly to a router. Intermediary devices are also connect multiple networks to form an internetwork. Intermediary devices include router, multi-layer or multi-layer switch, which is known as layer 3 switch, LAN switch or layer 2 switch, firewall, access point, repeater and others. Intermediary devices perform some or all of the following functions. First one is regenerate and retransmit signals, especially if the signal is weak. Two, use alternate pad when there is link failure. Number three, permit or deny the flow of data based on the security settings. Four, maintain information, basically about existing pathways through the network. Five, notify other devices of errors and the communication failure so that they can retransmit. Six, classify and direct messages according to the priorities. Next, we will discuss the certain network components, which are media. Basically, media can be wired or wireless. Sometimes we call it guided or unguided. There are three types of network media. The first one is copper wire. It uses electrical impulses to transmit signal from a sender to a receiver or vice versa. This picture shows UTP or unshielded twisted pair, the most widely used copper wire. And this one is the connector. The second one is wireless. It uses electromagnetic wave to transmit signal from sender to receiver or vice versa. Here, as you can see, there is satellite, dish, and wireless antenna. The third one is fiber optic. It can be plastic or glass within a cable. It uses pulse of light to transmit signals from the sender to the receiver and vice versa. The connectors for fiber optic. Based on the requirements, environment, and distance, a network professional can decide which media to use. This is the end of lecture one. In lecture two, we'll discuss network representations and topologies. If you find this video helpful and appreciate our effort, share with your friends, like it, and subscribe to Lalibela Tech. Thank you, and see you in the next lecture.